Hello YouTube! I am Tara from livingonadime.com. If you're catching me, this is our live show. Yes, it's an hour long. I do the cooking at the beginning and then we chit chat at the at the end. We would like to welcome our Facebook friends. We dual stream because we're just that good. <laughs> we're just what? special. I would say that at the end just to make sure. <laughs> After last week's show, we weren't that good. We couldn't get the silly thing to get going. I am the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook. Today we are make, being, making maple glazed chicken on page 262, right there. This is in our 20th anniversary edition. Um, this recipe is really quick and easy. Um, I'm going to stall for just a couple of minutes here because it's so quick and easy. I'm going to have the recipe done and then we're going to have people getting on saying, where's the recipe? It happens every single show. <laughs> so while we're waiting for that, let me give you an announcement. We have on our classic edition of Dining on a Dime, we're having a quick three-day sale. Oh, what? Right here. Dining on a Dime cookbook. 50% off. Got How many books do we have left? Do you know? I think it's only like six or seven hundred copies. Real fast if you want. It's not very many copies. I think it's only like six or seven hundred copies. This was the edition that we misordered too many of, and so we are clearancing them out. This fifty percent sale will not happen before Mother's Day. So if you want a great cheap Mother's Day gift, but your mother is worth a lot more. <clears throat> So add something else to it. Some new pot holders or something, guys. Or our menus from Dining on a Dime. <laughs> or menus from Dining on Well, and, and when we have sale on the other edition at some point, it won't be this much off because this no. one we're trying to... This is going to be... This is clearancing out. None of our books are going to be we're this putting much putting it in the off. archives. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so if you want a great deal, classic edition, use the coupon code. What's the coupon code? Classic 50? Classic 50. Okay, use coupon code PLAT, CLASSIC50, and for the next three you'll get that 50% off, okay? For the next three days only. So if yes. you're watching this in five years, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> five years, it's not going to work. Only until Wednesday, whatever date Wednesday is. I don't know. Okay, so right now we're working out of the 20th anniversary edition. Maple glazed chicken. Look at those cute little kids. What? That was about nine years ago. So sweet. Playing out on our house in the country in Kansas. I was uh, thinking today how oh, much that? I would love to live in the country again. That was when they used to like to <clears throat> uh, wagon rides. take wagon rides and sometimes we even hook it up to the lawnmower and drive yep. it around. Yep, yep. So Without the blade running. <laughs> Oh man. Timmy says, Hubby got a haircut. Sure enough. Thank yes. you. Thanks for he noticing. He tips his barber well. His barber, his stylist well. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so maple glazed chicken, page 262. Now, to measure out your maple syrup, this is a super, super easy way to measure maple syrup. Um, 450 is what you want to preheat your oven. Take some cooking spray, do a fast little squirt in your measuring cup, and that is a super simple way to measure your cooking spray and get it all out. It just slides right out. None of it sticks in there. And it just slides right out, easy peasy, just like that. Lemon okay? squeezy. Lemon squeezy. So for the lemon squeezy, <laughs> then we have our lemon juice right here, about four teaspoons. Okay. And then we need a tablespoon of butter, but because we are being dairy free at the moment, I'm putting a tablespoon of coconut oil in there which will work just fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this together and let it simmer for five minutes, okay? 
Now, while that's happening, I'm going to salt <laughs> my chicken here because the world needs more salt, people, and throw a dash in my Where's sauce Mike's there. Friend? Well, lots friend. of people <laughs> noticing Mike's haircut and Tara's apron. It's just, well, okay, why is this making weird noises? It's oh, I see, there's water on there. <laughs> I was washing dishes and just got this straight out of the dishwasher. It's a good thing you didn't tell them what happened when I came in the house. When you came in the house, for what? <laughs> What's that smell? It smells like oh, green plastic. Yeah, so I got everything set up here. Okay, it sounds like we're shooting something here. It's just bubbles <laughs> leaking out from underneath. Oh, Kathy says, hello, I'm new, and I love watching and cooking from the cookbook. I'm in Georgia. Ah! Glad you're here, Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. We have a great viewer, Julie, who's in Georgia also. We love our Georgia viewers. Okay, so we're going to bring this to a boil, but here's something funny that happened. So when Mike came in, he was like, what is that smell? I, smells I like smell burning something. plastic. It smells like something burning. I said, well, I don't know. And and so I'm like, I'm looking around the kitchen, I'm like, I have no idea. So I come in and look what I had done. Right there, starting my cute, fire. cute little towel on fire. I'm so I'm really sad. surprised it didn't go up. Go after up in flames. As long as I was asking the question. I almost started the house on fire again. Okay, so the longest part takes to bring the... Uh, Stuff up to a boil real quick. What? What happened to your camera? I started burning this. Oh no. Okay, so come back to me, Dave, while we're waiting for this to come to a boil. So I want to show you guys something while we're waiting. So this is the next orange juice that I got out of the freezer for us to be drinking. And I just wanted to show you guys because we had lots of questions. You can see how the orange juice expanded <coughs> out of the container or expanded the container. But see how this little dimple kind of came out a little bit? That's why that's there. So you can see right there, it doesn't do anything crazy, nothing weird. That dimple is the ninth cent. But that <laughs> is what it does, yeah. All right, so come back down, Dave. You can see here, wow, that it is quickly. simmering away. Doesn't that look yummy-licious? And then, if you're just joining us, Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 262. This is the 20th anniversary edition, maple glazed chicken. This here, that and the honey glazed chicken, you can come back to me, Dave, are our two top biggest recipes on our website. It's oh. our most pinned recipes. And They're it is delish. <laughs> the one that people come to the most on our website. Yep. Uh, I've been pasting the link in for this recipe if you don't have the book. Uh, but it says 10 chicken dinner recipes for $7 or less. So essentially there are 10 different recipes in mm -hmm. there you can make. Yep. And that one, that's for the whole family on that one. Yeah. The $1 per person. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is a $1 per, me per person meal. So let me tell you what I got. So I got chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks, okay? These are normally about 49 cents to 79 cents on sale. And yes, you can get that everywhere around the country. Mom and I did a video on Friday and I had an ad from LA, Los Angeles, California, one of the most expensive places to live in the United States had chicken thighs and drumsticks for 77 cents a pound. So we have just over a dollar for our meat, for our maple glaze part, it'll be probably 25 cents. Then we're going to have a thing of broccoli, a dollar. And then just um, because I felt like it, some cabbage that I'm going to make here in just a second, and then some rice, which is about 25 cents for all of us. So really, this meal is probably around 50 cents per person. So that's really good. good. Um, 
And we had a lot of questions about on our $175 um, Heidi's on. Hello, Heidi! Our bouncer, Heidi! Um, <laughs> everybody thought that was funny. Um, for our $175 that we're feeding everybody for the month, month of March, guys, you got way too much time on your hands. <laughs> so we have people breaking down every single meal. Here's the thing, guys. Every meal is not a dollar per person. Some breakfasts are gonna be 10 cents a person. Some lunches are going to be 10 to 10 cents to 25 to 50 cents per person, depending on what we're eating. And I already put that whole list of menus and everything that we were going on last, was it Monday's show? Um, so not every meal is a dollar per person. Some are way less. Okay. All right, Dave, um, cameraman. A couple questions. Cheryl was asking, how long does it usually take to get the book once you order it? Um, so usually it takes, okay, let me answer that just a second here. So you're just going to pour your maple glaze here over your chickens, just Ooh. like this, your chicken pieces. And I went the wrong direction. That's okay. Dave loves maple. Dave's our maple dude. And then you're going to throw this in the oven and you're going to bake it for 10 minutes at 450. Oops, I did it wrong. Ah! Oops. Okay, don't do as I say, don't do as I do. Every time I make this chicken, I do it wrong. You're supposed to put the chicken in and cook it 10 minutes first, then pour the glaze over it, but we'll just go with it, okay? Well, it always tastes fine okay. whenever you do it. So, we're gonna cook it for 10 minutes, <gasps> and then we're gonna turn no, and then we're just going to leave it. So we're going to bake it for 25 minutes, okay? So Morris says, just ordered the book. Since watching your channel two weeks ago, I have saved $158 on groceries. Thank <gasps> you. Woohoo! $158? Wow! And listen, if you guys are just joining us, our classic edition is 50% off right now. When these are gone, we aren't going to have 50% off print books we're not going to do it. We, we don't do that anymore, except if we're clearancing them. And we don't have a need to clearance anything. So, except for this classic edition. So, are we planning a sale for the 20th if they want the 20th anniversary edition book? Um, yeah, but it's going to be a few weeks. And it so. won't be 50%. Oh, no, huh? It would, no. Because yeah. uh, this one, we're kind of trying to move them along. Yeah, we're trying to clearance these out because... We, Dave, can you hand me a little bowl? It's hard to manage both editions. Yeah. <laughs> we are simplifying a little one. Okay, so speaking of books, right now I am in the middle of testing recipes for the next Dining on a Dime, for more Dining on a Dime. It's going to be a new cookbook with all brand new recipes that we're working on. And um, this is a pull apart bread do you want to shut down there that not necessarily this is a pull apart bread i'm melting my coconut oil just because we're going dairy free right now um uh laura the recipe is in the classic edition cookbook and i've also been sharing it in the comments here do we know what we don't know what page in the classic edition do we what yeah tara is looking right now uh the classic edition it is on page um, just a second. Let I'm me also right here. 204 in the classic edition. Okay. 204 I, in the classic edition. And I just shared the link on the website if you don't have your book handy. Uh, and it has 10 recipes for different chicken recipes. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got our coconut oil melted here. So, what is this recipe I'm making? It is for the next book that we're working on writing right now well I should say I'm working on writing mom's done with her portion of it and uh, we are this is a pull apart bread that we are trying to make or that we are making now oh, do I have a recipe for this no because oh. I'm working oh, you're on testing it, it. okay um <laughs> sorry I was halfway in the comments <laughs> this is for Kim. so i'm dipping for my pull apart bread i'm dipping it in the coconut oil and making little balls do you want me to zoom in 
Um, yeah, you can. can. There's nothing really to see if you don't want to. Uh, I'll do it for just a few. They might want to see you rolling and dipping. They want to see me rolling and dipping? Well, sure. Sometimes I hear, hey, we want to see mom do I see. Yeah, okay. Well, no, sorry. All I right. just wasn't sure if people would want now, to Now, we're using coconut oil for this one because, like I said, we're cutting out some dairy for some of the family members. And uh, so... <laughs> Did anybody like my new computer thing on the front? I thought that Did was Did anybody great. see it? Ah, yeah. that was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That's funny. <laughs> One of our viewers sent that to me. Thank you so much. Where's I think the world Kathy. needs more salt bumper stickers? <laughs> oh, I need that too. That'll be part of your platform. Everybody well, gets everybody gets salt. Salt at disco. <laughs> everybody gets salt. Uh, Megan. Cara's gonna have socialized salt. <laughs> Megan is asking, does the classic edition have different recipes than the original? I just bought the original and would like to get the classic. The original is the classic. The classic edition is the original. The 20th anniversary edition. Is... I know it's confusing, guys. I'm sorry. But the 20th... That's part of the reason why we want to sell yeah. the classic ones. The 20th anniversary edition has 100, uh, 28, 100 pages and 28 new recipes and tips. Wait. Now, the book that I'm testing this recipe for is going to be all brand new, completely different recipes. Okay. And if you don't know which edition you have, the classic edition or the, the regular one that we've sold for 15 years, 20 years, is like this. And the 20th anniversary one has a, like a, gold, a little yellow star thing here. Yeah. That, um, so that's yeah. how you can tell the difference. But the classic ones are the ones that are uh, half price in the next three days. Yep. And yep. we'll probably have a sale on the 20th at some point but we don't have a plan for it yet yeah our mother's day sale will probably happen well let's see when is mother's day so it'll probably happen in the next two weeks so okay D dave when are you and i going to cook again uh oh uh, I, I don't know we might have to do that soon polonia that was that was a scary experience so i'm not sure <laughs> what <coughs> Okay, so I'm gonna let this pull apart bread rise right there, sprinkled cinnamon on it, all that yummy goodness. Okay, and that's going to rise. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And now I'm gonna make up the coleslaw that I wanted just because I like coleslaw and my cabbage <clears throat> is getting pretty gnarly, so. Tina says, yay, I just ordered four of your classic Dining on a Dime cookbooks. I took advantage of your 50% off there for my four grown daughters for Christmas this year. Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, yay. get them now because once they're sold out, we've only got six or 700. And they make That's really good it. gifts. Uh, yeah. Especially, there are 28 different recipes in the expanded edition, but mostly the expanded edition would be most valuable for people that already knew who we were and loved us for a long time. And the older one, more valuable. Yeah. Because in terms of recipes, the classic one has most of the, yeah. the great recipes. Okay, so if you're just joining us, today I'm making chicken recipe that's easy, maple glazed chicken. Um, I already put it in the oven. Right now I'm making our coleslaw. Um, I had just a little bit of cabbage left over that I just wanted to get used up. And so we're using that. I don't know what page the coleslaw is here. Look it up. What page is the coleslaw? No, oh, coleslaw. Mmm, just... I've got it all backwards. You're making me look through my... You guys didn't see that, right? Oh, good grief. Coleslaw. Let's see. Cole... Yeah, 209 in the... Page 209. In the 20th okay. anniversary edition. Alright. And I like my cabbage grated. I don't like big hunks of cabbage in my coleslaw. So, <laughs> it's 156 in classic. Okay, coleslaw is page 156 in the classic edition of Dining on a Dime, which is on sale. So, for three days? Yes. Oh, I'll share that link again. Uh, Cheryl Pupio, I hope that's how you say your name. Uh, um, she's on, and she hasn't been on in a while, but uh, she says her birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! That's the way I always imagine saying it, but I don't know for sure if that's how you say it. So let me know. Okay. There we go. 
Hi, Susan in Texas. <laughs> uh, somebody's wondering if we can post a link to where you said that we buy glasses. Do you want me to it's just Zenny, it Z E N N I, optical, O P T I C A L dot com. We should get a link. Lots of people ask for it. Well, as much as I've sent people to them, they should be giving me some money for it. <laughs> yeah. It's really been a good experience for us, though, hasn't it? Yeah, we bought glasses from them for about 15 years since Dave was born. Wait, what? You're using up all of my mail? And. Oh, man. <laughs> <coughs> Here, I'll share that link if you didn't see it. <coughs> what was it? You inhaled salt? No, oh, I inhaled carrot. Carrot. Oh. <gasps> uh oh, Dad, you might have Jeanette, to. Jeanette says, I'm so excited. My son surprised me with your cookbook today. <coughs> Explanation. Hmm? You might have to go. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh. Thought you were. Okay. Should we start? Really? Yeah, no, I can get. <clears throat> Sorry. Like, I got my brain in the comments. <coughs> I should be paying attention. I'd be dying over here. It's okay. I know Jesus. I see him greeting me as I'm going in. <laughs> Mother is What's funny me. is, I, I more often than not have the, the lack of focus <coughs> problem. So that was a focus problem. Yeah. Oh, dear. <coughs> okay, here we go. <coughs> Good grief. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. I so, love coleslaw. I get coleslaw every dinner. <coughs> yum. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> Did you need me to do something, dear? All right. <coughs> well, you give me mouth to mouth. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Come on, parents, stop. <laughs> Gotta say that for our kids' benefit. <coughs> well, Do you want to, I guess, water and help? Okay. So since I messed this up, I'm going to take some of the <coughs> maple and put it over the top here. Oh, man. How did you miss this? Smells good. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, she had to go sneeze. <laughs> Got a little bit of carrot problem there. Sorry, dear. Do you need anything? <laughs> She's trying to settle down. <coughs> Oh, the expressions were... Quick, Dad, change the title to... A... They were smiling expressions, not like <laughs> expressions of distress. <laughs> not watching her distress. Okay, so... <clears throat> I am hopefully fixed, maybe. <coughs> so you don't have to answer. Jessalyn is wondering, where's your mom tonight? <clears throat> we do not know, Jessalyn. She there probably was... forgot we were on. Uh -oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Just someone to come over. Okay. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you guys something. Remember when I went back to my grandma's funeral and I was telling you how my family's hoarders? Uh oh. <clears throat> So it's always great being able to go and pick through their stuff. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys this. Look at this <clears throat> mirror my dad had. Isn't that cool? Wow, that is cool. You're not gonna do anything with it, right? Just, just I mean, you're not gonna change it. You're just gonna use I'm it. I'm just like gonna it hang is. it up. <clears throat> use it just like somewhere. Um, it looks pretty cool, but wait. <laughs> so apparently this this used to go on a buffet. 
There, can you, there, Dave. Okay, wave, Dave. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah, I'm right there. <laughs> oh, there's Ellie. Wave, Ellie. <laughs> there's Buster. Oh, there's yeah, Buster. Can they, they see Buster? They can barely see any of them. Um, so he said that they used to go on a buffet, and it was like 100 years old. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> try and find a space and hang it up. I'm really careful about hanging mirrors in my house. <clears throat> because like the space that I want to put this is right where you guys just saw Ellie <clears throat> but that wall if a mirror was hanging there it would reflect into the kitchen yeah. and I don't know that I would want to look at a messy kitchen all the time <clears throat> <laughs> yeah you know so <clears throat> oh, it's Pat's birthday too Wow, welcome everyone. Okay, <clears throat> I think I can finally talk again. So, what are we having for this dinner? Their chicken recipe, it's our easy maple glazed chicken. <gasps> Dining on Dime cookbook, four ingredients. Then we're gonna have rice. <clears throat> we're gonna have some broccoli, coleslaw, rice, broccoli, coleslaw, and then the chicken. Is what we're gonna have oh, for dinner <clears throat> and it's gonna be about 50 to 75 cents a person <clears throat> if you buy your chicken thighs or chicken drumsticks <clears throat> on sale for 77 cents or less I can get them for 39 cents a pound here <clears throat> <clears throat> Last week, Mom and I did videos. I found them in Los Angeles for 77 cents a pound. Mom had them for 70 cents a pound in Wichita. <clears throat> oh, Susan says eat a piece of bread. You're doing, you're, she's drinking wild tea. You're probably wild <coughs> tea. I have a piece of carrot stuck in my throat. It's and right I on the edge. I cannot get to come down. <clears throat> it's a problem. Um, <clears throat> so, that is how... We can eat for $175 <clears throat> this year. All of my chicken recipes are easy, quick, fast, in and out of the kitchen. You guys saw it took literally not even five minutes to get soft. this maple glazed chicken in the oven. <clears throat> We've had a number of people a while back ask, where can they get the book? And I was sharing the link, but I thought maybe we should say, we're sharing, I'm sharing the link for it. It's at livingonadime.com in the store. But I'm sharing the direct link, and if you get the classic edition, it's on sale for fifty percent off. Which and the code is classic fifty, but it's in the uh, it's in the link I'm sharing too, and it's also <clears throat> on the store page at the top. It, if you get there and you didn't write it down, so so <clears throat> I feel like you might need Robitussin for dinner. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I got a carrot stuck in my throat. <clears throat> Actually, I went to the doctor because I'm always choking to see if he could stretch my throat. And he said it was reflux. I'm like, this is not reflux. I have done this my whole life. But well, you know how food. doctors are. So one of these days, Michael just come home and find me passed out on the floor, choked to death. <clears throat> but my, <clears throat> I think my esophagus is too small. Because my mom and my grandma and my great-grandma have all had the same problems. So We have two super chats. Oh! Crystal. Thank you, Crystal, and IR1003-1981. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you. Uh -oh. That is so nice. All right. <clears throat> Ellie, can you call back Nan back and see what she wants? Uh, Sandra wants to know, do you use seal <clears throat> a meal? Do you use seal a meal when you buy meal, meat in bulk to freeze it? You mean like a... Uh, um... <clears throat> I think she means like a vacuum sealer. I don't use a vacuum sealer because we have a large family and we go through it fairly quick <clears throat> but mom and she talks about this in the videos that are going to be coming up next week somebody was saying we haven't seen ellie in forever <laughs> <clears throat> um <clears throat> oh i had to unplug it um <clears throat> mom uses a, a vacuum seal she uses a freezer a vacuum sealer to freeze her items, her meats and stuff. And so, yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, um, <clears throat> okay, there's something else. So I think we should tell them 
You guys should see the house we went and looked at last week. Ooh. I went and looked at last week. Ooh. <clears throat> was it the messy one or the awesome, really cool? It was Oklahoma. the messy one. So, oh. um, <clears throat> uh, Marty, what's 50% off? Our classic Dining on a Dime cookbook. This one's the 20th anniversary, but our classic edition is 50% off for three days only. Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Um, she says I don't know the total, so I think she's wondering how much. Livingonadime.com. Uh, I don't it's know like, what it'd be. It'd like, be like 15, 16 bucks, including shipping, something like that. Yeah, it's like ten ninety eight plus shipping. So if you go and add it to the cart, it'll tell you for sure exactly how much. Uh, if you're in the <clears throat> you're, like, you're I'm sure you're in the U.S. Yeah, Margaret. Oh, we love Mar Margaret. Is so nice to us. We love you. Hi, Margaret. <clears throat> yeah, Lynn. Medical professionals do not listen to you. That's so true. <clears throat> Susan, can you freeze cheese? Yes, you can. So we um. <clears throat> We found this fixer-upper here in Colorado, and it's literally across the street from my grandparents. So we were so I was thinking, oh, that'd be great. My grandparents need help. <clears throat> we could just be across the street from them. <clears throat> well, it's across the street, but you have to go around, around, long way to get there. So it's like a mile. But <clears throat> we'd be really close. So we go and look, and. Uh, <clears throat> Wow, it was a fixer-upper, wasn't it? Mike didn't see it, but it was 4,500 square feet. They had totally gutted the entire thing, but it was on an acre and a half. It had a six-bay garage <clears throat> where we could have made half of a studio. It already had a shed for a tiny house. It was an acre and a half so that we could have more tiny houses because we want to have tiny houses and rent them out and then have like our viewers could come and stay with yeah. us and rent out the tiny houses. I think that would be such a great idea, don't you? Yeah. Only um, we discovered, <clears throat> though, that it appeared that even though they marked it down a lot from what they were originally asking, we think they're still asking too much. <laughs> they, not yet. They, um, <clears throat> so they were asking 549000 for it. For a gutted house on an acre and a half. I know. We're Welcome in Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> a gutted house. If it, it was a nice looking house, if it was finished. Yeah. But here's the thing. We got to thinking if we would have bought it and put spent 150000 remodeling it, we then could have turned around and resold it for 800000 because that area of town where my grandparents is, is booming. It's like the number one place where everybody's moving, moving now. So we were like, oh man, that would be great. We could um, be close to them and then we could resell it. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm just putting the, basting it with the maple glaze oh, a little man. bit more. It smells delish. I'm not sure I can actually eat that. <clears throat> Dave is kind of on the. Dave and I have been really sick. We both got a flu of some sort yesterday again. And <clears throat> I'm eating a granola bar because it's the only thing right now that seems to not Sounds make good. Sick. So <clears throat> we were looking at this house thinking, oh man, it would make our YouTube channel go crazy if we, <laughs> if we remodeled a house just because you guys would not see Michael smile. Let's just put it that way. Um... <laughs> we probably would do it a little differently, to be honest. <laughs> oh. No, we'd have to hire a contractor. We're we're not up to remodeling anymore. But man, the thought of making a hundred thousand dollars, but there it didn't have a sep needed a new septic tank. It had no electric, so we'd have to be right. camping for a couple of months while we got that right. stuff in. The thing is, well, yeah, <clears throat> Yvonne says offer four twenty five or four fifty. Actually, we probably ought to offer four hundred if we were going to do it, because the amount of you know, there are always things that you find that you didn't know about, and and the, the work is kind of tough. I mean, <clears throat> we've realized in the past I've done a lot of work on various houses, but at this point I think we'd have to hire people to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'd have to hire somebody. Mike I is don't kind of beyond the doing all that myself. Our stage. nerves would not handle it. But it had enough, and it was, it had enough space we could put the tiny houses, the two or three tiny houses we wanted, because we thought, well, the kids could run them, and then until they get moved out and then when they get moved out then they could we could airbnb them and i was thinking man it was so quiet 
I didn't think it would be quiet because my grandparents' house is actually really loud. It's not that loud. There's um, a highway called 287 that goes <clears throat> north and south here in Colorado, and they have a straight shot to 287 from their house with no trees, so it's actually really loud. But this one had a ton of trees in between it and the highway, and you couldn't even hear it. I was like, oh, man. But here's the thing. They started a year and a half ago at $799,000 for a gutted house. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really, though, in that area, that, <clears throat> that house is probably not quite worth that, even if it was all in good shape, right? Well, see, here's the Not th yet. No, no, but here's the thing. <clears throat> so... It, so my grandparents' house is over here, and it's across the street over here. But then one more street over, they're putting in two and three million. Some of them are probably four million dollar houses. They're like two stories, about four times as big. They're as They're huge <laughs> houses that are like they've got to be eight, nine thousand square feet, maybe ten thousand square feet on five acres, just the other way. Welcome, Jill uh, Cooper from Wichita. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot. Yep. Um, Amy T, $100,000 might not be worth the sanity loss of the process. Well, we're kind of we're wondering thinking. about that, honestly. Um, so, I don't know, but... What? It's a hiatal hernia you have. It runs in my family. I'll have to look that up and see. Maybe that's from a... <clears throat> Well, he put a scope down my throat, and he didn't see anything, so I don't know. But and by the way, Diana, thanks for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> that was so nice of you. You're so sweet. So, um, so anyway. Yeah, that smells so good. Oh, and we got the window open because our equipment was not working well on the other, the other day, and it feels so nice today. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, we thought we had maybe found a house but lo and behold no they didn't we found one of our neighbors down the road I, we drove by the other day and i'm like they have tiny houses i bet they're renting them out he's airbnb and him. he's like what I said, yeah look right there sure enough they have the cutest little tiny houses exactly what we want to do and they're getting 75 bucks a night for them <clears throat> yeah uh so, carrie says how much was it i missed it so the house was $549,000, completely gutted. I mean, there was nothing in there. There wasn't even electricity. No heat, no electricity. The septic tank is shot. How long is it been It would the probably a year and a half. They started at $799. And I've been watching it because we've been looking for two years for a house. Wait, is it just but, a frame? Yeah. The thing basically. is, where it is, we would be able to keep Jack where he's going to school, and we'd be able to keep going to the church, church. we go. And I would be would... closer to my friend. David would be closer to his <clears throat> friend. And in case you're wondering, <clears throat> you're thinking, what? How much? Uh, the house we're in, we... I stopped and started again. Let's see, are we back on? Oh! Are we back on? Are we back on? It looks like we are. Uh, I did a quick no, it's OBS yeah. soft boot. What? Are we on? No. Yeah, we are. On. Buffering badly. <clears throat> what are people saying? Uh, well, these are previous comments, I think. I think we're back on, and I think everything's smooth, but it looks like all the, all the equipment is saying everything's cool. Your son is goofy. I just really bad. Why? I'm just a goofy person. All right, everything's looking pretty clean over here. Okay. Yes, so, yes, yep, back you to are. Our story. Can see um, Dave back. We cannot forget the birthday, especially. So, the thing is, Sorry. here in Colorado, prices on housing is just going berserk. And this house, even though it's a huge fixer-upper, we would have been able to make at least a hundred, if not one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars profit on it at 540,000. Now if we got it for 400,000, that would be even better. But and then we could make it into what we want, but then if we needed to sell, we wouldn't lose money on it even if the market went down. This would still hold the value of at least what we put into it. So anyway, we had a couple birthdays. Do we want to do the birthday song? Okay. 
Happy birthday. Especially, well, Cheryl hasn't been on in a while, and I was like, I saw her name, and she said, Cheryl! Hey. Oh, and it was Cheryl and Pat. Nancy Pat. was telling Pat happy oh, birthday, okay. but I didn't see you Pat. Ready? I heard it was her birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cheryl and Pat. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> we haven't been doing the birthday songs Yay! lately, so... Okay, so I was right in the middle of a high five. Okay, we have to high five. Kaboosh! When Dave said, we ah, the show's down. only Thank have you, way, how much left on our mortgage? You want me to say how much? Yeah. Oh, $27,000. Woo! And then we'll have it paid off. Woo! Woo Hopefully before Dad's birthday in December. So, actually, we're hoping we can get it paid off before summer. We have, some, be we have some of that in savings. We were just being a little cautious about various unknowns in the future, like our taxes and stuff like that. Months, yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. Sure you can do that? We're going to try. Well, we have some of it already, Dave. We're going to try. So, well, yeah. we have, actually, we have, we have enough saved up that we could probably pay it all off right now. But we have taxes due. We're going to have to probably pay a huge chunk of taxes, even though we prepaid. We earned more than we thought. And so we're going to have to pay a, a large five-digit <laughs> tax bill, probably. <laughs> and... Then um, we have some legal stuff going on that we don't want to dump it all in the house in case we need the money for that. So any, anyway, what is so special about Colorado? Um, it's perfect here if there weren't people. <laughs> well, the, the weather's really nice. The weather's great. But the yeah. reason why the prices are going up, they've been going up a lot for a number of years, but... I think there was a point where I kind of a lot of people in California realized it's yeah. way cheaper to live somewhere other than California. Yeah. So a lot of people came here. Well, it created a lot more demand for the houses here because yeah. there weren't nearly as many houses as people coming. So, well, so what's happening also... is Colorado is turning into the next California, unfortunately. And all the people are selling their houses in California. Well, they sell their $800,000 house in California and they come here and they see a house and they're like, well, $600,000, well, that's nothing. So they don't even try to negotiate lower, and they just pay cash. But it might be a and... <laughs> $450,000 house, and so yeah. it creates the whole market sort of yeah. goes up because what people typically pay is based on what other people have paid. So. Yep. So, um... Also... But it also causes the market to crash real hard here if, yeah. if suddenly the market fluctuates a yeah. little bit. The weather is perfect here. You have four distinct seasons, but winter is great. No, we do not get a lot of snow here. Um, and when it does snow, it will snow. And then it will be gone in the next day or two and melt off and be 50, 60 degrees in the middle of December and January. So well, that usually, happens a lot. Usually in winter, it doesn't snow until like the last week. And then it pounds you with snow. Yeah. Now we do get snow. Right we do get snow in April and May. So like I'm trying to decide this year if I even want to put in a garden. And I need to decide this week because I'm going to get my seeds started. But I haven't had a garden. I didn't have a garden at all last year. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to put in a garden this year or not. Um... She and usually does, but the last year or two, we've just been too overwhelmed, right? Well, I've had a garden for 30-plus years. And last year, I finally just did not have one because I was trying to get my soap store going up. Well, now, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep going with my soap or not. My helper, um, her last day is, is Monday. And so now I don't know if I want to keep going with my soap or if I want to dump my soap and just forget it. I don't know. So, move to Oklahoma. You would love it. <laughs> Actually, I saw a Dirt Patch Heaven is there getting a house. And um, I thought that would be nice to go. Actually, I like Kansas and Oklahoma. I just don't like the heat and the humidity. Uh, Florida Singularity, there are zero alligators per capita. Thank you very much. Actually. Because we have brains enough not to move where alligators exist. So Dave and I were recording a message the other day for Jonathan, Florida <laughs> Singularity, walking around the lake over there in Firestone. Yeah. And uh, and I was kind of pointing out, hey, see, there's the water right there, Jonathan. We can actually go down to the water. 
We can even tap our feet in the water. <laughs> no, no risk of an alligator. Because an alligator's not gonna bite your leg off. Because uh, Jonathan is always Jonathan's always going back and forth to Tara about the alligator stuff. <laughs> where he lives in Florida. Yeah. So. Okay, so now I'm putting in my lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, Tyra, bread. money. Tyra says money and savings is worth more to you than money you put into the house. True. The only reason that we would get a bigger house at this point is to, uh, because it's really hard doing our show. Uh, and also we'd like to have a, something with a little more space because being where we are, we could probably Airbnb a lot of, uh, we could Airbnb, do some Airbnb um, for people that are going to the Rocky Mountain National Park and stuff. And so it would actually make money for us and that. Tourist season yeah. would be insane. And uh, eventually we might have other family come live on the property. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so we're looking to get a, a property big enough so that we could build mom a house so that she could live on it. And then um, <clears throat> we, well, we have four kids, so I'm sure we'll have kids coming in and out, moving in between moves. Once our kids are out, we are not going to let them just move back in and mooch off of us. But, you know, things happen where we've had to stay with my folks for two weeks in between house closings and stuff like that. And so, you know, uh, downsizing really probably isn't going to be an option for us. So, um, yeah. So anyway, but I'm trying to decide. It's so hard doing my soap here in the kitchen because I have to clean everything up. And then I make the soap and then it's a big mess. And then when I'm not feeling good or I make myself sick because I'm doing a soap show and something messes up and my adrenaline gets crazy and then I get sick, I have to clean up the show so I can cook dinner. And I just, I'm going back and forth. I did a poll this weekend to see if any of my neighbors would be interested in soap making classes and maybe just do like one of those a month or something. And the response was crazy. I had like 23 people say that they were interested in individual classes and two people wanted to hold parties. So <laughs> I was like, whoa, I did not expect that. And so if we could get another piece of property where we had a large barn or shed or something that we could turn into a studio slash soap classes area or any classes area, you know, to do classes for anything, it would really make our life a lot easier. Um, but we're trying to balance that with the fact that we are this close to getting our house paid off. We don't really want to be in any more mortgage. We don't want another mortgage. Once we got it paid off, we really wanted it paid off. But really after the dogs were barking day before yesterday, all day long, Friday, I guess that, that wasn't. has been a challenge because um, <coughs> a challenge it's a huge pain in the rear well I think we're, our neighborhood is very very full of dogs that mostly are outside without the owners we have 14 just behind us and so they bark a lot <coughs> and they never stop barking and it seems like it's just kind of because one neighbor it seems <laughs> it seems like it's pretty much the way of this neighborhood so yeah someday it would be nice to do something different but at the same yeah. time I'm not sure if it's worth taking out another mortgage. Well, it depends. Yeah. But it, the thing is, for what we're doing at Living on a Dime, we would be able to do more and better if we had the space yeah. to do that. And we and some of the stuff, like one of the reasons why we're not doing as many shows as we used to do is because we have to break down and set up everything every single time. And that takes a lot more time than actually doing the show. Yeah. And Breaking down and setting up takes as long as doing the show. Uh, well, actually, it probably takes twice as long as doing the show. By the time I have to get everything cleaned up and clean up afterwards and all of that. And so, you know, I, I, as I was, I wrote down a list. When, when Gina quit, I wrote down a list. Okay, what do I like about making soap and what don't I like about making soap? And... What I realized, yeah, Jackie, I need a soaping partner. You're right. What I realized was I like teaching making the soap. And I like actually physically making the soap. But I despise, I absolutely despise wrapping the soap, labeling the soap, shipping it, and 
dealing with the website all the time, having to change posts to put new soaps on, even though it's not that hard, it's just so many steps that I have to remember and I hate doing that. And so as I was thinking, I thought, well, I really like just teaching it. And as I was sitting and figuring, I could make as much in one soap class a month as I'm making doing the videos on YouTube. So I, I'm just kind of trying to decide, but as I was trying to put together the sales page for it, um, Yvonne, um, I like your message, Yvonne. As I was putting together the sales page for it, I'm like, well, do I even really want to do the classes? I'm so tired. What I really need to do is go camping by myself for two weeks, or maybe Ellie and I should just go camping alone for two weeks. And see if we could alone? actually get some rest. I don't know. I'm just so tired. Can the whole Part of the problem is Tara is chronically ill. Yeah, I just can't do type, it all. The but she's type A. I know. And so if if she starts to feel a little bit better, then a, then a big idea happens. <laughs> but she just doesn't have the energy for the big uh, yeah. idea. A uh, white plate. So. So I don't know, guys. We're I'm going back and forth and back and forth trying to decide and. So. Oh, there's more than one, Yvonne. Uh, Yvonne, this house we can't really add on to. No. Um, but there's not enough room. There's not enough room. But the other, the other Yvonne said, "Whoa, fourteen dogs behind you! I vote for you getting a much larger property with separate buildings for videos, classes, grown kids, and chill." Amen, but sister. The grown kids part would have to be temporary. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I oh, okay. said they're not moving back oh, in gotcha. permanently. Okay, just making sure. But. But we, you know, after Ellie and I uh, traveled and we did the Airbnb and then Ellie and Tara did some more traveling with the Airbnb, we thought, man, we should do that. We live in Colorado and there are people that come here from all over the place. Yeah, and we're on a main road going to Estes Park. Like, we're, we're the Rocky like Mountain National Park. We're like two miles off of the road going to Rocky Mountain National Park in Estes Park. So people could come stay here and they just have a 40 minute drive to Estes. I think it would be great. Okay, so, so I didn't put the oh, butter yeah. on, but this see that, Dave. is a proper serving of dinner, okay? Just so you guys know, this is three ounces of meat. This is about um, a half a cup of rice and about a half a cup of broccoli. So this is a decent, proper sized meal. All of this is about 50... 50 to 60 cents probably for the whole thing. So not all our meals are even a dollar. We just put a dollar on there for this show because it's easier to look at instead of 50 cents. So this is our dollar meal right here. Less than a dollar meal. Even if you wanted a little bit more, uh, it's still cheaper than probably what you pay, but <laughs> this way, this is one of the reasons why we've realized that Americans have a lot of trouble with weight is because of eating, too, eating much. too much yeah and even not eating too much or even not eating as much yeah I still find it to be a struggle Ooh, Yvonne says our family would totally rent one of your tiny houses in the future take a soap class join in a group cooking class and just hang out with all of you guys you guys so we rock we rock Yay. maybe we could have some friends that would sit around the fire pit that with would be us cool. Actually, I didn't Aww, think about that, dear. We can have s'mores. I didn't think about that when she said tiny houses with soap class, group cooking. I know. I'm we telling you. Put people on the show. I could oh, have yeah. soap retreats. I bet people would come, and I could get ten people, and we could have soap retreats. Well, I told Tara like what we should do is pay off the house, and then the other day up in the mountains where Tara used to live uh, before we got oh, married, yeah. there was a place with like six cabins. On some property, um, they were like 1940s era cabins. Well, no, they and were built in the 20s. 20s. Yeah. And I told her, I said we should keep this house and buy something like that and do Airbnb up there, and we could spend some time down here and go up there and we come back because it's only an hour and a half from here. Hour. Yeah. Hour and a half from here. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, guys. Right next to that, in the next town down, the entire town is for sale. <laughs> Seriously. She thought it would be fun to buy. Seriously. Is well, the thing is, it's been for sale for 20 years. For 20 years, because they're asking a million dollars, and everything is completely run down, and it would have to be totally revamped. But there's like 10 cabins. 
there's a grocery store there is an office building that is um oh see if you can get Ferncliff up there and see there's an office building that has eight little office types things in there that you could probably make into small um cabins or like uh rentals or something too let's see if we can show a picture let's see if there's a picture of what it looks like now and um <laughs> whoa it's not that well that yeah that awesome. would be nice wouldn't it we, we just saw a super snazzy looking house uh, um that's probably why it's not selling there are no pictures on but the it's all log cabins that were built in like the 20s and 30s no yeah there you go and um i was like oh here let's see oh you can't really tell that's well, winter well here click on here and see so here's one of the cabins guys here i'll click the picture so we can oh well i thought it would blow up the picture and we were like we could buy the whole town and have have the town so here's one of the buildings okay right there okay let's see what else they got do they have okay it's got a gas station so here's one of the the cabins Ooh. it's pretty it's just they've been waiting for 20 years and they're not getting a buyer oh, oh no it's more than that it's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen offices wow hey, how much is do this you know place? we could have a soap one mom could do a quilting one the thing is where it There's is store. for what we do it would be it would be a good thing it's apparently the people that own it are, yeah. have not been able to sell it but, no. but it's been not in use for I mean, it's been not significantly in use for a long time. One million three hundred and fifty thousand. Oh wow! The we store, should take it. the store was still in use when you Let's lived up it. there because we yeah. used to go get gas. Yeah. There and... When I lived in that town, the town next to it, which they're basically one town, but when I lived there, Wait, where um, is it, it was. Um, the store was still in in work you know still working and i went there to go get stuff and i went down there and did my laundry there's a laundry mat the whole entire town <laughs> would that not be the coolest thing ever for our show and it's on the way to rocky mountain national park it's like beautiful and the best part is really people only go up there about four to five months out of the year so the other how many months are there in a year seven months we could just do the show from there. Yeah. I would be willing to do that. It looks like there are trees and stuff there, so it'd be cool to wander yeah. in the forest. Yeah. So I don't, maybe we should do a GoFundMe and have people. Wait, which town is this and, in? And if they GoFundMe like a hundred dollars, we'll give them a night to stay. Yes. So a couple people Actually, are saying that's not a bad idea. A couple people. Oh, <laughs> why was it abandoned? Uh, mostly because they were still operating it to some degree. Yeah. They use it for storage and stuff, but it was they were still operating it to some degree for a while. But they tried to sell it, and I think it was overpriced, and yeah. they couldn't find a buyer. And so yeah, they uh, eventually they just they kind of closed up the shop. Yeah. It's not totally not me. It's still maintained to some degree, just not in, in a very great way. Yeah. Um, a few people were saying about not about asking questions and having us not respond. So here's the thing. We're, we get a lot of questions and everything's flying by on YouTube and Facebook. So we're not just seeing what's on YouTube. So if you ask a question and we don't answer and it's something you'd really like an answer to, you can ask again. But yeah. as a number of uh, people have mentioned in the comments also, if you put your comment in all caps, uh, it's more likely we would see it if you have a question that you would like us to answer. So we do generally try to answer the questions, but... Um, Mrs. Fig01, I skipped the pedicure and bought your cookbook instead. Woo. Thank you. Yay. You go, girl, and get that debt paid off. Good job. <laughs> Um, if you have any uh, oh, somebody, was, uh, somebody asked what was the... How many fewer recipes are in the classic edition than in the new edition the classic edition the okay the 20th edition has 28 more recipes than the classic edition there's over 1200 recipes and tips in both of them so yeah hi all today i made you yeah. peanut butter cookies they were very good are Yay. you okay jack oh 
Okay. Um, go, yeah, GoFundMe takes 10%. No, that's not good for a million dollars. Okay, so let's see. How could we do this? If everybody donates $100, then they could get one night free. <laughs> what? I don't know how we would well, do that. Bucks what about a well and a septic in the town? That would be a very good question because it is in the mountains. It would be hard, but... Where's the best place to go to in the Rocky Mountain National Park? Uh, so, oh, so. <laughs> I didn't see what was going on there, but. Didn't either. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> there Rocky Mountain places. National Park. We like Bear Lake, but now it's getting really crowded. A lot of people go there, so if you don't get there early, you may not be able to go. Um, the alluvial fan is really nice. Indo Valley is where we go have our picnics a lot. It's really nice. Oh, we never um, disclosed that. We never we, disclosed okay, that. Okay, never mind. You didn't hear. No, never mind. You didn't hear where we go to have our picnics. Uh, 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 Fall River Road is really nice if you have time. Yeah. It's a one. It's only open from July to October because it's a. It's the old old yeah. dirt road. Yeah. It's got beautiful things. Yeah, so, um, so anyway, yeah, those are probably our main spots in Rocky Mountain National that are really nice. Um, so anyway, all right, guys, so I think we should buy the town after all. The only downside Let's about do the it. town is we had an experience like this in Idaho where we bought a property that we later needed to get rid of. And if we it's couldn't. been for sale for 20 years, I'm not sure if we would need to sell it if we could. I know. <laughs> that's so, true. Also, that's always have, a consideration. It needs fiber wire, too. I mean, fiber optic. But I did love living up there. That was probably my favorite place I've ever lived. What we'd have to do um, is make it into a really big going concern, and that way if we ever needed to sell it, it would be easier. <laughs> Part of the reason they're having trouble selling it is because it's a commercial property, and commercial properties in Colorado are mo more often than not valued by the income that they get. And if they can't demonstrate any income for 20 years, no buyer's going to buy yeah. that. But for us, because our business is mobile and we already had people who would come and see us, then that would already give us, we wouldn't have to bring in the customers. We would already have the customers ready to go. So Music Mad said she will have the gardening store. <laughs> oh, I would love to have a gardening store. Wouldn't that be great? That Can would be great. Can we turn the offices into bedrooms? For yeah, Airbnb? that's what I was thinking. We could Airbnb a bunch. Cool. Yeah. We could have one cooking store. We could have one gardening store. We could have one soap store. One, what else? Something. What else do we do? Tech support Reed area. Store. <laughs> tech tech support, support store. Dave's tech support. Everybody's emailing Dave for tech support. So anyway, okay guys, please check out our 20th, or I mean our classic edition is 50% off. Dining on a dime, classic edition is 50% off with coupon code classic50 only until Wednesday. And it's only on the classic edition. Only on the classic edition and it's only until we run out of books. We only have like 600, 700 I think somewhere around there left. And I just tested it to make sure the code is actually working. And, and it, it is, is working. So if you if it's not working for you, you, you might have the wrong thing in the cart. Yep. And that is only on sale until Wednesday. Wednesday, we are talking about, are you ready? How to make money on YouTube. And, and why do people want to know that? A lot of people want to know that. No, I'm... Why? Just tell them why. Why? Because you can because you can actually make money on YouTube. It's an okay side hustle. Yeah. <laughs> if you we're, do it right. We're doing a series on side hustles with my wonderful assistant, Heidi. And this is going to be one of, in that series is um, how to make money on YouTube. So you guys will want to watch that because of YouTube and Facebook. We are no longer living on a dime. Thank you very much. After years of hard work. We're but... still called living on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we need to change the name of our, uh, of our store, of our, uh, change the name. I think we need to change the name. The uh, Shelly, the probably... new cookbook, um, hopefully Christmas, hopefully. I don't know. I was going through it last week. We have a lot we need to do on it. So hoping next Christmas. Um, I'm testing recipes now, so we'll see. 
So anyway. Well, thanks everyone. Have Pretty a great sure. night. Appreciate you coming by. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. And thank you guys for supporting us. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you on Wednesday where we're talking about how we make money on YouTube. <gasps> and how you can too. Woo! Bye. <laughs> Bye. Filler content. Filler content. We gotta leave it on. Hello, for my just baby. A bit. Hello. Oh, wait. Is that gonna catch the? Uh, probably. <laughs> the filter from YouTube. <laughs> probably, probably. Oh, hey, Kathy said she paid off her mortgage today. Oh. Yay. We should have caught her while we were still on. I just caught. I just caught.